How many defrags you can get? Let's well, not just defragment, loop, capacitor. Both very good. Tricky act. I think the right side just doesn't have enough campfires, so maybe it just cannot be considered. There's no connection here, right? So this entire half of the map doesn't talk to the rest of the map. And there's only one campfire in it for... Presumably we would want three elite fights. Maybe if we, like, Foster Alex swapped and high rolled, we could take the right side. But for the most part, it's not a not a likely way to go. Also, I feel like boss relic swap on defect actually makes you worse at Act 1 elite fights a huge amount of the time anyway. If we're going this way, though, like, this way is pretty tough, too. Just an act with only hallway fights. Hard to get self-repair. Hmm. I suggest you start with XCOM. You should go to my nexus.gg slash jorbs and then purchase it from there and then play it. And I will get a cut. I don't know. I thought Enemy Within did okay as a vanilla experience. I think um, XCOM 2 and War of the Chosen are both okay vanilla. War of the Chosen is probably a bit better. And then you probably want to get into Long War after that. That's generally the the end game for XCOM players is trying to win a Long War campaign. There are other cool mods too. So generally, defect rare cards are not that good. It's like Electrodynamics or Biased Cog or a bunch of stuff that isn't that incredible right now. They're okay. They're better than commons, but... I'm looking at potions or boss relic swap. Let's just do a boss relic swap. Okay, I think Astro is double strike defend. That is... <laughs> that is fascinating. Okay, well... I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. I guess I'm going to, like, get a ball lightning and play it a lot of times. I guess that's the hope. I think I like the flexibility of this path. I can get exactly the same path up to... Well, this node-ish. But then I get a store as well. Store seems good. Just go infinite before the first elite. Sure. infinite yet. There's the ball lightning. Gotta take it over auto shields. We need damage, right? I don't think that's a super interesting choice, really. 
So question mark before or after hallway fight. Who did I just fight? Jawworm? Does anybody know? The event's never a fight or a store or a chest, right? It's always just a regular event. So there's this thing in Slay the Spire, which is like fairly recently discovered. So a lot of you probably won't have heard about this. But how Slay the Spire works is it uses a seed, right? The seed for this is... 1, X, V, 3, G, blah, 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 blah. Cool. And at the start of a run, it has, like, monster, RNG, is a new RNG object based on the seed. And then it has um, event RNG is a new RNG object based on the seed and stuff like this. It has a bunch of different RNG things. And the thing about that is that it lets you run the same seed as other people and have the same things happen. And it isolates things. So if you play a monster fight differently, it won't change the event that happens later because you're not using up these RNG seeds are sort of like, you can just very simply imagine that this seeding an RNG like this means it's going to give you like this sequence of random numbers or whatever. So the point is if you only used one RNG thing, then if someone asked for more RNG in a fight, then when they got to the event, it would be a different event because you'd be up to a different number in the RNG seed. But because they're separate, that doesn't happen that way. But the problem with how it's done is... It's using the same seed for them, so they're the same. So because of this, you can tell things like when you get your first hallway fight, I'm pretty sure how it works is that a number below 0.25 equals cultist. And then the thing is at the first event, uh, a number below 0.15 is going to be all of your, like, stores and stuff. That would be a store or a treasure or a hallway. I think it's below. Maybe it's 0.18 or something, actually. So the problem is, I'm pretty sure if you don't get a cultist, you always get an event, is basically what this means. I didn't get a cultist in the first hallway fight, which means that this question mark is going to be an event. I think that's what I said, Esrabble here. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty dumb. There are a few other ways that the RNG interacts that you can sort of track down and keep an eye on. Like, um, yeah, card rewards. You can tell what the first chest is going to be based on card rewards sometimes, stuff like that. So I don't, I don't, I mean, that means that the event is definitely an event. Since I'm not going to an early store, I'm not going to be taking a curse for gold at events. So maybe I want the event first since it makes my decks stronger on average if I'm not taking curse for gold. I guess I will take HP for gold. My boss relic trade just cost me seven health. Yeah, I don't know who found that first, but I was talking with Forgotten Arbiter about it, and he does a lot of stuff with, like, looking at the code for Spire and working out what you can do with the seed and things. Notorious RG, thanks for the four months. I'm going to show you as well. Let's 
take a cool headed with such a small deck where we are drawing cards over and over again very quickly. Just because that's how RNG is structured doesn't mean it's busted. It sort of does. <laughs> I don't I don't know that I agree with that. I should not be able to tell what a question mark coming up is based on what's happened so far like that. It just like doesn't seem right. Yeah, in Casaplex, you just like make a bunch of different RNGs that don't give the same numbers. It's not too hard. You skim ball lightning. Wait, this doesn't quite work. I need a card that costs two again. a bunch of different seeds and it's no longer deterministic. Well, you can just go like, so RNG one, RNG two, RNG three. You can just go RNG zero is made by the seed and then RNG one is made by RNG zero first output, and this is made by RNG, zero, second output, and now you don't have seeds that are, I mean the seeds still determines the run, but the RNGs don't all give you the same number. That would be one like very simple way to do it. Go for the eyes seems great here, but in the sweeping beam, I play it like every turn or something. First RNG zero determines the numbers for the next three. Yes, but the next three don't give the same numbers. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Right now, RNG one, RNG two, and RNG three all give the same sequence of numbers which means that the first call to RNG1 gives the same number as the first call to RNG3, which means you can tell what RNG3 will give you after you see the first call to RNG1. Right? But if you seed them, if RNG0 is used to seed them, now instead of being the same, they're different. So it works. Hmm. If I were to upgrade like a zap right now, feels like my deck would get a lot better. Upgrade a cool headed. There's some pretty sweet upgrades, to be sure. There's also an elite fight. I'm a little bit low on health. I think we go this way. If I seated them like that, it would make them offset by one. Wait. <laughs> no, it wouldn't.
Okay, I could actually take Streamline here. We can recycle it. We can also make it cost zero relatively quickly in fights where we want to play it lots of times. Or I could take another Cool Headed. I like Bizarro Land, the stack right now. I don't think it kills Gremlin Knob. Might need a Streamline. Alright, let's try out a Streamline. Fully engaged in that Bizarro Land behavior here. RNG0 would still allow you to figure out the next three. You don't know what RNG0 has in it. <laughs> you don't see what RNG0 outputs. The seed tells you? Yes. Obviously, if you analyze the seed, you can tell what happens in the game. <laughs> you can look at the source code, and you can look at the seed, and you can work out what happens in the game. When players play runs, I can't read 1xv3g. F I E F. I like literally can't even read the letters. They're nonsense. <laughs> but also, I can't tell what number that gives me. But when I walk to this to this floor, I can tell that that's going to be an event. means we dig. Looks like dig is back on the menu, boys. Do you think all orcs are boys? So much damage. Claw? Claw? We have Streamline, go for the eyes and claw. Oh my gosh. How excited are you right now, Twitch chat? I think we take it. This is not really the elite fight that I wanted. Appears to be attacking me for 12. I think I do play Scum. Which one deals more damage, actually? Not to die to Gremlin Knob. I got a tiny chest, which I can choose to pick up if I would like. I also got a self repair. I think self repair is important. 
Definitely don't have to pick up Tiny Just. It takes away one of our question marks in Act 2. This deck doesn't want bites. It doesn't care that much about upgrading strikes and defense either. It very much wants apparitions. Ornamental fan is a little bit more like it. Ah. All right, let's look at this store. My general approach to defect is to port purchase a uh, purchase defragment when it is offered. So let's plan on purchasing that. I have two hundred and ten gold. I have nine health and I'm about to die, right? I have two hallway fights. I think I'm going to have to purchase an Essence of Darkness, so... That's just like a I would like to not die sort of thing. So that takes me down to 98 gold left. I could card remove, I could sweeping beam, I could core surge. I don't think we're ever taking charge battery. I don't think we're ever taking hologram. Hologram's not that bad. <laughs> Can't afford purity. Wow, just purchasing panache straight up is a different way to play this. Not the way I'm going to play it though. Pretty sure I'd rather have a core surge than a sweeping beam, but I think I would most of all like to remove a strike. Defend? Maybe remove a defend. No, a strike. A defend? Ornamental fan is a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six attacks. Dual cast? Zap? <laughs> Could try to survive with um, an upgrade potion instead of an essence of darkness. Might actually really want a sweeping beam. The store is tough. <laughs> hey, nameless inversion. How you doing? Gosh, removing a defend right now is pretty. It's pretty real. <laughs> um. I'm gonna remove Zap. Removing Zap over Strike because I have an ornamental fan and 9 health. Hmm. 
This seems like fun. 10 plus 9 plus 5 is 24. Plus 4 block. That dies. So this looks like our only line there. Gosh, they're all just going to attack again. Algorithm, Steam Barrier, and Cool Headed. Cool Headed's a fairly powerful way to block if you're going to play a deck that's revolving around drawing a lot of cards and dealing damage with like attacks because you don't need to deal damage with orbs all so much so if you just like draw cards with Cool Headed and add focus with Defragment all of a sudden you're really good at blocking and you're actually helping your deck do the other stuff that it wants to do as well. So I am a fan of Cool Headed here. I think the genetic algorithm is more desirable if we can survive. Do we survive? Steam Barrier is not that bad either. take a cool headed plus over genetic algorithm here but I think I'm gonna take genetic algorithm over an unupgraded one and we're gonna just hope that we manage not to die again great work so far genetic algorithm this will always buff next turn I think that we play this though. Go for the eyes while we are vulnerable. Go for the eyes, defend, and then another. Yeah, okay, this is fine.
I play the wrong one? I think I played the wrong one. Well, that was pretty bad. Not sure that I need to talk about that decision very much. Okay. I'd better rest. Yeah, Echo Form definitely made better by self repair. Also, Genetic Algorithm. Two cards that work very nicely with Echo Form. Probably this looter gets away. It'd be nice if it didn't attack me a gazillion times while it was leaving. Damn. Everything about that turn was terrible. I'm gonna have to rest again, huh? This run's doing fine. It's not... Like, if we beat Guardian... Okay, so it's not great. <laughs> but... It's not that bad. The overclock plus an infinite. It is, right? No. I need two of them. Fuck. I don't have two of them. So Heatsinks is quite powerful. Even right now it's already pretty good with three powers, four powers. I should probably take Heatsinks. Overclock's not that bad. Ball Lightning is... Also, yeah, I'm gonna take Heatsinks. <laughs> Let's, let's just try this. I think I do have to rest against Guardian with no potions and no prospects. Hey. Decent start. Hey, new full. When I get uh, set up properly before I care about that self repair, I think.
Easy-siam. Infinite with thingamajig. What's that called? Draw zero. Cost zero, draw three. The infinite there would be draw, recycle, burn, and like go for the eyes. And recycle the burn and play go for the eyes. But you'd need to have two of them. Yeah, I mean, the infinite that I was saying I had doesn't work. That's why I said, oh no, it isn't. <laughs> So, if you're confused and kind of work out how it works, it's probably because it doesn't. for one. All for one. The last defect run I played. I took an all for one and then my deck was shit and then I died. Very reminiscent of that right now. So I have a Capacitor plus and an Echo form, which means Inserter is just not very impressive. We're never really taking Inserter here. Phylostone or Nuclear Battery? I think I like the Nuclear Battery. I tend to like Nuclear Battery a little bit more in decks with Echo form, because it gives you more energy on the early turns which is what you need to get Echo Form into play. And then because you have an Echo Form, you're not quite as in need of energy on the later turns. Would I consider Inserter more with Consume? Probably not. Okay, we have arrived in Act 2. We don't have a ton of relics. Act 2 looks tough. I like buying potions here. And then I like trying to kill this elite, resting, kill this elite, and then get out of the act this way. If we can get to champ, I think the deck already kills champ, so that is fine. Just have to get to jump. Could also go this way. 
but this kills us. This kills us too often, I think. I have self-repair in echo form. It's very spooky. It gives us more question marks to look for apparitions. So I think this path is higher risk, higher reward. This path is a little bit lower risk, a little bit more reasonable to survive. This path is another option. It's okay. Maybe that's the one I'll try. Echo form defend. It's sort of okay. Getting the echo form gives us seven health later. Fifty-one. There's another claw. How many claws do I want? This deck probably wants somewhere between zero and three claws, I'm gonna say. The downside of claws, it's harder to draw echo form and you know, the cards that aren't claw. The upside of claws is that it scales damage pretty quickly. I'll we'll take one more. Echo form does seem to be better when it's bottled. So it's safe enough to wait on self repair. Hope so. I think you just get birds every time you're offered Phylostone, whether you pick it or not. Probably. That would be my best guess.
Self repair, yep. Turbo ball lightning charge battery. I don't think these help me in any way. I already have recycle for energy. Charge battery is not that bad with echo form. It's also not super good. No potions yet. Um, Glacier tends to be a pretty good card. I wonder how good Skim is here. And then there's also card remove. I could go card remove swift potion or something. I only have the one cool headed though. Sort of desperately need a glacier. So if I'm buying glacier, I don't get to card remove and the store just becomes swift potion or not, pretty much. I think swift potion yes is the pretty obvious choice. I will lose it for a relic. It's worse than self repair. Kunai. Form this time, yeah. I haven't played self repair yet. Actually, it's good to play Echo Form here. I can block for five, or this basically blocks for seven. Is it the self repair interaction? Also, I didn't play Genetic Algorithm earlier. So it's even giving me more Genetic Algorithm stacks. Seems good. Kill it. Gosh, they hit like trucks. Loop, rebound, reinforced body. I have what. I believe is called an upgrade deficit <laughs> right now. Um, I mean, that's one way to explain what I have. I have a bunch of cards that need upgrades, but no ability to upgrade them. Defragment, heat sinks, cool headed. Self repair would be a really nice upgrade. 
and loops a card that is definitely significantly better when upgraded than not upgraded. I think that taking Reinforced Body here is fine. And Drex well with Recycle and Echo Form. So... Is front loaded block recycle echo form Brunei. Lots of reasons to like that card, and this is like scaling, but. Upgrade deficit. I don't think we ever. I don't think there are many things to recommend rebound. Yeah. Need help picking out a male wedding band to where they're all uncomfortable. I feel like some of that is just that after time you get used to wearing a ring. With 45 health and an upgrade potion, I could choose to upgrade Defragment. I'm about to go into two elite fights with no campfire. I haven't been wearing my uh, Ura ring lately because it's too hot though, like my finger just wants to be free. So, certainly get that. Deck's sort of sweet. The defragment upgrade's really good, but the Blessing of the Forge already does that. Just take a rest. this. <laughs> I didn't realize I was married. I'm not married. Gosh, this echo form. This echo form. Caleb's talking me up. Caleb D M T G. Welcome in everybody. Having a spire evening. Just past midnight for me, but we're uh moseying on through. Some interesting Spire runs tonight. If you have never seen Caleb's stream, he's an awesome streamer. I recommend checking it out. He plays a lot of Magic The Gathering. And is the world's best Gonti player. No one in the world plays Gonti better than Caleb. Gonti, Lord of... I honestly don't know the rest of that card's name. <laughs> anyway, Caleb's awesome. Thanks so much for the host. If you don't know me, I'm Jorbs. 
we chill out and play a variety of mostly single player strategy games on this channel. Slay the Spire has been a mainstay for the last like two and a half years. Try to run a chill community. It's nice that um, it's nice that games treat everybody the same. So when I do something in a game, the end result is the same as what it would be if you did the same thing in the game. I think that's one of the coolest things about games. So I try to just um, run a chill community here where we can try to come together over these weird things that we enjoy doing. If you've never seen Slay the Spire, sort of imagine if a uh, limited event for Magic the Gathering were a single player game and thousands of hours had gone into making it really complicated and engaging. And you'll have some idea of what's going on. All right, let's draw some cards. Let's do this all for one stuff. Holy shit! That's not a very, not a very good hand next turn. Um, I feel a concern. I am in danger. At least I get to double play Streamline. May end up using Upgrade Potion on Streamline next turn to get enough damage for lethal. Um, yeah, okay. Well... Feels like there was maybe a better way to use the upgrade potion if I was going to use it in this fight, but we have to use it now, I think. I could block for 18 against 35 incoming damage. Not enough block. This ends up being exactly lethal damage, fortunately. We got a Gremlin Horn. Gremlin Horn is great. Helps this deck out a lot. We don't have a ton of like AoE damage, so fights where there are lots of adds summoned are problematic for us and Gremlin Horn just makes them much 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 better. How's it going Red Green? Yeah if you're here from Caleb's community feel free to say hi. You're welcome to ask questions about the game. Do you have anything that looks interesting that you'd like me to explain in particular? I also have like a bunch of videos someone might be able to like send you to a better explanation on YouTube. Izuka man. If you enjoy hanging out, we have a Discord where people hang out. If you want to do that. Channel just passed 69,420 followers on Twitch, so I would actually prefer that you don't follow the channel so that we stay closer to that number. Um, I'm gonna, I think, take a compile driver here. Because I start with a plasma orb. Oh, I don't start with a lightning orb though. Sort of weird. Zip zoobity bop! Thanks for the 17 months of Bamusho to you as well. Compile driver and cool headed are certainly both cards. I think they're both maybe better than skipping. All right, let's see if we can like... So Compile Driver... We got the Ornamental Fan, which makes it better. We 
don't have cracked core, which is a huge problem with that. Um, the fact that we have a recycle plus in the deck is nice. Oh, it's also obviously it's nice with kunai. Worth mentioning. Maybe because of kunai, we don't take the cool headed. Maybe we want our card draw to be attack based so that kunai procs, and maybe we want our defense to be a little bit more slanted toward actual block cards which benefit from the dexterity. That sort of makes sense to me. Unicorn Prawn. Hey, Thunder Lord. Hey, Samuel. Lord Magistrate, hello. Compile Driver seems interesting. You have six minutes experience with the game. Yeah, I mean, you're correct. There are four different types of orbs, so if you get all four of them channeled, you can have a draw four for one card, which is very strong, but it's not usual. Not usual to have all four of them channeled. It's more usual to probably have like two. Oh, I was gonna count how many attacks I actually had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten and a twenty-six card deck. I'd like Kunai to proc every turn. You, for every time you play three attacks in a single turn, we gain one dexterity, and then we also gain four block. So we want to play three attacks a turn as much as possible. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Do I want consume? Do I want creative AI? Hmm, I have a consume. I don't think I want creative AI. I think it's too slow. I also think we already scale in every fight in the game enough to win all of those fights. I don't want to zap. Don't want to regret. All right. Anchor is great. Yeah, Anchor is very good here. Blocking on turn one is not something that we're good at, so we just got quite a bit better at it. it let's me play Echo Form. Um, Slaver is definitely the worst of the elite fights that we could have gotten. Yeah, I think there are four curses on that board. Well, two of... There are two pairs of curses on that board at high ascension. We're at low ascension. There are... Fewer. <laughs> there, there's only one pair. A little bit of a pickle. Um, what are my options here? So the first card I play is Echo Formed. I can go. Genetic Algorithm, Echo Form is going to be 28 block. Wait, what? 23 plus 25 is 48 block. Is that full blocks this turn? Next turn I'm a weak and I'm still vulnerable. I would probably grab an all for one after that. An all for one is going to be dealing 15. Not very much. Uh, we're getting a bunch of wounds in our discard pile. We need this fight to end pretty soon. I think that playing two compile drivers is the best play here. We draw four. And the big hit is Recycle. Which we hit 4 out of 11 times. 
If we hit Recycle, I think we win the fight this turn. If we miss Recycle, well, we were probably dead anyway. Yeah, we'll take a 4 out of 11. If you're gonna miss Recycle, this is a really good way to miss Recycle. We hit every other zero cost card and we can still play all for one. So, 5 plus 9 kills that. I think we go after the Taskmaster next. Um, strike's okay. Everything's sort of okay. Strike blocks for more than defragment because it procs this stuff. I could go genetic algorithm, but it seems like it's a little bit slow. If I strike, I'm taking three. Maybe genetic algorithm's fine. don't particularly want to take three. Remembering your relics is a very, very tricky thing. I would be suspicious of anybody who claimed that they always successfully remembered all of their relics. So I guess one thing that Consume can do is I can recycle it for two energy. It's sort of nice. Don't turn on delayed end of turn, you'll make, mer <laughs> you'll make your life so miserable. Don't do that to yourself. It's a nice idea, but the execution is lacking. I don't know, work that it's bad. Well, it makes it so you have to like hold down and turn for half a second or something before it registers, which is like not, <laughs> not fun. Um, Complete self-repair. I'm fairly impressed with our duck. It didn't die. Tori's a strong relic. Oh. It is plausible that Electrodynamics is a bad card at the moment. It's plausible that this is a skip. Is there a gold threshold or other heuristic when red mask is worth taking? Um, it's not that easy. It gives you weak on turn one that has some value and your gold has some other value. And you have to try to work out what the two values are and which one's higher. bugging me. What does it mean to channel three plasma? So as a defect, defect is probably the most complicated Slay the Spire character out of the four official characters. Uh, we have orb slots. By default we have three and we can gain more or lose some as the fight goes on. And so we can fill those with orbs which have a passive output every turn. A plasma orb gives you one energy at the start of every turn, and they also have a special output when you evoke them, which is 
There are a few ways to do that, but the most common is to channel a, another orb when all of your slots are full. When you do that, the oldest orb will be evoked. And, uh, yeah. When plasma orbs are evoked, they give you two energy. So you can get one energy at the start of the turn and then evoke it and get two more and end up getting three energy in one turn from one of these. They're pretty powerful, but it's hard to play Meteor Strike. It costs five. I don't have that much energy every turn. So the problem with Electrodynamics is just that it isn't a card that makes any of the things we're doing work better. It's a sore thumb. And sometimes you'll add cards like that as sort of golden bullets for your deck. Like, you don't have a good answer to a certain fight, so you take a card that doesn't fit into your general strategy to answer that fight. But Electrodynamics is a card that helps a lot in fights where there are lots of enemies. And we already have Gremlin Horn, which already sort of does that. And so if we added Gremlin Horn to our deck here, it would largely just be making us worse at doing the stuff that we do. For not that much benefit. Do see things for the Twitch Prime, a flaming idiot. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate both of you. I'll boom show to you both. Do we beat Reptomancer? We have like 20 turn, 20 floors or so. 15 floors? We have a long time before we have to fight a Reptomancer. Um, the deck in its current state sometimes wins and sometimes doesn't. I'm gonna skip. Okay, we got an extra store. We could load up on potions, but I think we're doing okay enough to card remove, probably. Sort of like card removing dual cast here. Strikes proc kunai and ornamental fan and defends get good because of kunai. Cast isn't terrible. Is upgraded panacea ever worth it? Um, sure. And like in particular, if you had biased cognitions and a runic pyramid, it would be a really solid one to have in a lot of decks. In a lot of decks where those two conditions were already met. There's usually a way to work out value for any card that exists in this game so the question is not if it's ever worth it it's when would it be worth it so that you can work out when the right time to use it is i don't know if this is just dumb i'm really leaning into the kunai it's not generally like the strong thing the defect does though Maybe I was meant to like buy a potion and then I could have upgraded at the campfire perhaps. Maybe that would have been better. Wow. Well, none of these cards do very much. Yeah, let's do this. That I rested.
Tori saves a lot of health if I just go for the eyes. Have self repair next turn, but not much else, it looks like. I have self repair this turn. Damn. was not the absolute worst possible fight ever. But unfortunately that's the <laughs> that's the most positive thing I can say about it. Probably a little bit late for a second genetic algorithm. I have an echo form. It gets large enough by the end of the run if we make it to the end of the run. It's just whether we die because we take it right now. Only have 27 health. Equilibrium's certainly an okay card. Equilibrium, I think, is the strongest of these cards right now. And it works nicely with all for one. It lets us uh, try to play all for one on the turn where it's most valuable. Also works sort of nicely with echo form. How often do I die taking genetic algorithm? From one hallway fight? I mean, you're asking, presumably, about the times that I die when I wouldn't have died if I didn't take it right. It's not a very large number. 2%? Less than 2%? I don't know. It's not a very large number. 27 health is fairly safe with what we're doing. A more interesting question might be how often it makes it so I don't get to upgrade at the next campfire. Because if the hallway fight goes well, I actually get to upgrade. How many question marks am I going to next act? Don't know. Depends. It feels like generally what we're doing it takes a while to get off the ground. We only have 71 max HP. Feels like it's generally okay to take another scaling card for late game. So this is pretty bad. Yildren! Welcome back. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Could recycle a reinforced body if I wanted. This is... maybe the hardest possible fight for us. So that's not great. <laughs> um... Recycling a reinforced body lets me go go for the eyes, compile driver, strike, defend, self repair or something. 
but it puts a bunch of dazes in the deck. This is the problem. Let's me play Echo Form if I draw it off Compile Driver. Getting vulnerable is terrible, terrible, terrible on turn two as well. Pretty sure that's vulnerable. Not weak, right? Anyway, uh, let's do this. So defend only saves me one health. Don't think I need to be playing that. Looks like no echo form this fight. Because I gotta use streamline here. I have to rest against champ. Did I die? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think I didn't die. This is 24. It's fully blocking. Thanks, Disciple. Plus. Hologram Plus seems really good. Barrage is an okay card. Hologram Plus seems really good. There are so many good things this does. It lets us get another block card back, so it's sort of like a two cost block card that scales twice with dexterity. That's really good. It lets us get all for one back. That's insane. Um, we can get back like go for the eyes. We can get back powers that we failed to play the first time through our deck. We can get back genetic algorithms if we don't have to play them when we draw them. It's just, they're just so good. They're just so good. Do I have to rest? Oh my god, do I have to rest? I have uh, Anchor. I have Tori. I don't think I have to rest. Let's finally get this defragment upgraded. It's been a long time. Long time coming. In this fight, we're trying to get defenses up. As quickly as possible. That said, that doesn't necessarily mean that I recycle an attack here. Because if I play the attacks, I get a kunai proc. I could recycle reinforced body and play every other card in my hand. It blocks fully, gives me a dexterity. Or I can play the attacks, recycle, defend, and play defragment, and I keep reinforced body, I take one damage. I feel like keeping reinforced body over defend is. I'm not actually sure that that's worth one damage. Hologram now.
I'm gonna try to double play this with Echo Form. It levels up twice if we do play it twice with Echo Form. That's a plan for Gilling Champ, like claws and stuff. It'll be easy once we get going. blocking for 30 a turn and then we just like do anything <laughs> basically oh we have recycle as well so we can get rid of the stuff that we don't care about in our deck Get rid of these orbs. Makes compile driver bad. But now we're blocking much more effectively. I want to play genetic algorithms with echo form. I'm actually going to get rid of ball lightning, I think. Because ball lightning messes with my frost orbs and also deals a bit more damage than I really want. We want to win this sort of slowly. Because every turn we get more dexterity, and every turn we have a chance of drawing Recycle and getting rid of one of the cards that we don't want in our deck. Champ does scale up too. need Glacier again? Don't think so. Don't think so. Dexterity does not affect Frost Orbs now. Mostly it just affects your cards like Defend. gonna chill for a bit. Try to recycle more of the bad cards. Some people speedrun the game, Mark, but for the most part, it doesn't matter how quickly you play. There's a very bizarre thing where there's one event in the game that would be incredibly valuable for speedrunning, and it's in the latter part of the game. And uh, so that speedrunners didn't have to like basically abandon every single run where they didn't get it. The devs made it so it will only spawn if at least like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something are gone in the run. So it's basically impossible to get it while speedrunning. Um, but it's a bad event for non-speedrun runs. Like it's not something that you really want to get. And so in theory, maximum win rate play for this game would be to make all the right plays and get to 
the part of the run where that event happens in under 15 minutes. Like you'd win slightly more often because you'd get a better event on average on the floor. But <laughs> uh, in practice, like nobody does that. It's unclear that it's even like really possible to play that fast if you're not speedrunning anyway. Fish and Echo form biased cog. Give me a sec. I need to fill up my water. My office is just super hot. Even now, with the window open and a fan going at 1 a.m. Just hot in this room. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Caitlin and I agree that summer sucks. <laughs> we we are an agreement. Okay, anyway. We could go double echo form. Or we could take the biased cog. Two echo forms is probably better than one echo form. I mean, it's not even really probably. I'm not sure that I channel enough orbs for Fission to be good. It's a nice card for accelerating through the deck the first time through. But I have a bunch of cards dedicated to things other than channeling orbs at the moment. It's because I like built an all for one package into the stack and have claws and things. So I think it's just echo form. Bias Cog's pretty good, but I would need to find a way to prevent the loss of focus for it to really be good, I think. Yes, we can recycle Echo Form for three energy. That's good thinking. Oof. So, double the effectiveness of potions. I do have an attack potion. Um, coffee Dripper, energy, but we can't rest anymore. I think I've been resting at almost every rest site. <laughs> and Slaver's Caller gives us an extra energy against bosses and elites only, but not for the hallway fights in Act 3. I have to collect the super elite key in Act 3, which means that my pathing isn't necessarily like really left up to me, which means I might be taking a lot of hallway fights. Although I don't really need more energy anyway. Not that much. I think we can probably take Slaver's Caller. Over Coffee Dripper. I wouldn't mind resting a few times. Uh, 
Um, I'll go to stream when I can, Yildren. Lately, the weather has been dictating when I stream, so I don't get campfires this act. I have to go this way. This is pretty unlucky. <sighs> so, <laughs> yeah. I guess Coffee Dripper wouldn't have had a downside in retrospect. Oh well. Love it when they just like all prepare to kill you next turn. We have a hologram so we can get this genetic algorithm back, I guess. If I hit Echo Form off this, it would change my line, and otherwise I'd just play Glacier. So I don't think playing Glacier first makes sense, because drawing two cards with only one energy left, there's not very much I can do with that one energy anyway. Whereas if I draw one card now instead of drawing two cards after Glacier, I can choose not to play Glacier and play Echo Form instead, which I think would be worth it. And that happens one time in 12, so actually somewhat common. And dead? Looks like I'm approximately just straight up dead. I guess I have a self repair still. I'll go for the eyes at the end there. Sometimes lucky, but also sometimes not lucky. Sends its regards. I've been in like a sort of weird mood with TV shows the last like few days. I watched a highlights clip of Oberon Martell from Game of Thrones. I think that was like a week ago or something, but it was the first time I've wanted to consume Game of Thrones content since about halfway through Season 8 being released. Where like I watched the rest of the season, but holy shit, I did not enjoy it. <laughs> I want to double play Genetic Algorithm. I don't really see why I can't. Seven are still good. <laughs> it's hard to get bad halfway through season six. But certainly the process accelerated in season eight. I watch Alt Shift X a little bit. Not like every single one of them, but um, Caitlin really enjoyed those. 
So I watched some of them because she was watching them, basically. I think Alt Shift X is now doing Westworld summaries, which... I don't know. I thought Westworld was, like, done after season one. And I started watching season two thinking, like, oh, it's going to be really interesting to see how they take the conclusion of season one and make an interesting show out of it for season two. And then I watched, like, two episodes of season two, and I was like, oh, they didn't. <laughs> should, <laughs> why, should, shouldn't they have, like, made sure they could before... made another season of it? I don't know. Anyway. <sighs> season one of Westworld is excellent. Very, very good television. <sighs> Sunder Recycle Hologram. The only card we can take here is Hologram, I think. I don't think we can take an unupgraded recycle. Our deck doesn't have enough cards that it wants to get rid of, really. It's not um, aiming to go infinite. It's not aiming to like get rid of all the three cards and then play them recursively. It's just aiming to get really good value out of Cool Headed and Claw and Glacier and Go for the Eyes and All for One, which means the only cards we really need to get rid of are like a couple of strikes and defends and statuses that get put in the deck. We can use Recycle to give us extra energy on turns where like we want to get Echo Form in play, so we Recycle Streamline sorts of things. But we don't really want two of them. Sunder has almost nothing to recommend it, really. It's a good card against Reptomancer. And then Hologram is pretty good. True Detective also had a bad season two, yeah. It's season two wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't that bad. It's mostly just that like the season one was so incredible and then the season two was like a fairly normal-ish cops show, sort of. Which like, those can be fun to watch, you know, but really live up to expectations. All TV is bad, just watch Jorbs. If you want to take that approach, I'm alright with it. Let's actually grab Skim here. Ooh, I probably wanted to do that first. Decent. Also, you have to say TV. You have to, like, there's a, an appropriate emphasis. Jorbs on the TV. genetic algorithm twice. Okay, that was not meant to be a difficult fight, so good on us for winning it. Um, hard to be that excited about it though. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. Nope. Let's just go ahead and take the rare relic. 
Against Guardian, I probably get to double play self repair even, so it's healing me for 14 as well this form. Heal means you uh, cannot heal anymore. Your current HP will never go up again. It will only go down or stay the same. not attacking anymore. Whoops. This is a bit more like a defect deck. Maybe I should just get rid of the other shit. <laughs> What's the point of having the claws in this deck right now? I don't know. I guess they do this. Sort of cool. had an anchor to give us 10 block on turn one and now we're also getting 18 block on turn three it's a pretty nice pickup we got a speed potion for five dexterity for a turn and i don't think any of these three cards is any good so i'm not gonna take those or bother talking about them very much they are unupgraded common cards and we are halfway through act three those are just not good at the moment so this is a fight where having electrodynamics in the deck might make me take the fight. I can't take this fight though with the deck that I currently have. Because we will die. Also because we have no way to get our health back really. Other than the self repair which is not even really letting us break even on health I don't think in this act. This is going to deal us like 40 or something even if we win. Okay, we got a Reptomancer. This is a Reptomancer with extra hit points as well. Four plus ten, fourteen. time that you've seen us skip that fight yeah yeah this one's not going super well <laughs> would be why so this seems very problematic i 
I'm being attacked for 68, and I have 52 health. Cotillion. That turns a little bit more like it. after attacking, they do a small attack and then a big attack which kills them. It's just like their moveset. Wasn't anything that I did. We get going. We're sort of going, huh? Just gotta get there. That's a common problem for Defect, just, um, it's hard to set up to do this without taking a lot of damage. Static Discharge, or another cool-headed. don't hate another cool-headed, especially now that we have one more energy. And we've got the double echo form. It's a good card to play two of, even if it's unupgraded. This genetic algorithm's up to 21. That's getting pretty good. 47's great. I think like 70 is where you start to see significant fall off in value. Last time I was in this fight, I took, what, 50 damage? <laughs> They're back. <laughs> yeah. At least next turn I have captains, we all. genetic algorithm, apparently. self-repair twice. Not like 
this. 31, 37. I can get to 28 block. I think it's worth a gamble here. It's a nice hit. Only took one damage. sort of set up so that one of these is alive at a time and then control the fight enough that we can double play our self repair. You already forgot about Gremlin Horn again. It's not like we have that many relics this run either. There are not a ton of them to keep track of this time around. It's pretty normal to have relics that go to like here or so. But you have to actually be able to like take the events that give you relics and fight the elites and stuff and that is not something we've been able to do in this run. Four health. No. <laughs> what a struggle. Gosh, what a struggle. I don't know, Yildren. You'd have to go check out other people's channels if you want to see what other people are doing. And not to focus on win rate in this channel because it is well one it's not really something I care about but also this is like an untimed game and if you want to focus holy shit if you want to focus on win rate in a game which has no Timer attached to your turns. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, monkey boy. Okay. Well, we won the fight. We played some genetic algorithms. We're at 41 health. Which is... Decent. Not bad. Any time spent below the time required to make the perfect play is incorrect. Sure. Arvius, thank you very much for the rate. Welcome in, Arvius viewers. Just playing some Slay the Spire tonight. Welcome to join and hang out. Hope your stream was sweet. Arvius is an awesome strategy game streamer. He's been playing a lot of Civ 5 multiplayer and. Are you playing Battle Brothers again? He goes through like Civ 5, XCOM, Battle Brothers. At least one other game that I'm forgetting right now for some reason. Oh, they are billions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arvius plays some really sweet there, billions. Their Billions is like a mix between an RTS and a single player tower defense, sort of. It's like you have all of the tower defense ideas going on, but also you have this like pretty complicated base and you're managing an economy and things like that that you'd be doing in a game like StarCraft. And Arvius is very, very good for that game. Is honor a strategy? Maybe. Are you saying that when Civ 5 is played by Arvius, it isn't a strategy game? Is that what you're trying to say? Could take another capacitor. I do already have one, and it's an upgraded one. And if I echo form it, you can only get 10 orb slots max, and that gives me nine. I do have a consume, so it lets me scale more off of that. The concern is just like, I die a bit before it all starts working. I think I do take this extra lead, both because the events are like, the events are pretty good, and these hallway fights are pretty bad, I think. And also because I have this store to heal me a little bit with meal ticket. The capacitor is nice against Giant Head and Nemesis, I think. It's like sort of fine. 31 card deck right now. Unclear how I will ever survive the Act 4 Elite fight other than by drawing genetic algorithm at the right time. Basically by chance. <laughs> um, so maybe there's an argument for not adding cards that aren't genetic algorithm to the deck. I could sort of buy that argument. Sheer luck and determination. Mostly just sheer luck. Turns out the question mark was a hallway fight. What a surprise. And it was a hallway fight where all the attack happens on turn two, which is the only turn that my relics don't block for. Tremendous. Awesome. Great work. Good stuff all around.
put a link to Arvius's channel in the chat, huh? There you go. I do recommend checking out Arvius's content. Did we take any damage? Actually, we just never take damage in this fight. And I heal for 14. Things are starting to look up. What are you, what are you talking about? What, what is... Why is my, why is my chat like this? They say that a chat reflects who you are as a streamer, but I think they must be wrong. There's no way that can be right. <laughs> Electrodynamics is back. Still don't want that. Yeah, I'm good. Feeling a bit better about this deck right now. I'm just gonna play the self repair now. Leave the genetic algorithm in the discard pile so that I can grab it with a hologram if needed, though. Echo form's a good one. This what I wanted because I made a bunch of decisions which led to this happening. I hope it's what I wanted. Actually, I can go recycle on streamline and then ball lightning and then echo form. All right, no, 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 I forgot heat sinks was in play. at full health. Wow. 
Um, force field plus is... <sighs> it's tricky. It costs four on turn one. But I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven powers. So it costs zero pretty quickly. And blocking for 16 is significant. It's a big number. And I have kunai. I think I take it. Shoot. <laughs> no. I don't even need to go to the store anymore. I'm already at full health. I could save my gold for next act. I should be fine in the boss fights for this act as well. It's going to be the Act 4 Elite fight. It's mainly the spooky thing, I think. I think I'll go to this hallway and go here. Why are these back again? <laughs> can, you, can you leave me alone? Oh my god. Hmm. What were they saying about like being full health? 36, 49 incoming? I have no block in my hand. Hey, Blur! Thanks so much for the host. We're struggling at the moment. This defect run has taken, I think, over 100 damage to Darklings in this act so far. Yeah, I don't think that's an exaggeration. I'm pretty sure we've taken over 100 damage to uh, Darklings in this act. Blur's another Slay the Spire streamer. You're looking for someone else to watch play this game? This has to be the most damage I've ever taken from Darklings. Because I not only got the fight three times, but also my deck is absolutely incapable of <laughs> not, not taking a billion damage in apparently. mad at me for not taking electrodynamics. Electrodynamics wouldn't have even helped. By the time electrodynamics is in play, I've been fine. The problem has been the time before electrodynamics is in play. That's been the issue. Darklings being scarier than Nemesis is not particularly uncommon. That's more about Nemesis than it is about Darklings, though. Darklings being scarier than Reptomancer is a little bit weird. I don't know what's up with that. Nice pickup. I could take another go for the eyes. I think with the weak potion that I have, the value of a second go for the eyes goes way down. And it probably wasn't 
better than skipping before I had the weak potion, but when you consider the weak potion, I think that's a no. So I think all of these cards are pretty easy to rule out. As you get later in the game, I think card choices often become much, much simpler, just because it's more defined what your deck is missing and what your deck has plenty of. I think with Kunai and Ornamental Fan, the Sweeping Beam is better than the Defend. I believe so. And now, we uh, have 30 health less than I thought I was going to have against the Wicked One. Cool. It's a decent turn one, though. I think I do play Heat Sinks before Echo Form, but there are definitely. There's definitely Echo Form, then Heat Sinks, Heat Sinks, then Echo Form, or don't play Heat Sinks there. And if somebody did a bunch of math and it turned out that the one I chose was wrong, I wouldn't be that surprised. Draw some cards first. Have recycle. Probably never need glacier in this fight from here, so I could probably recycle glacier right now. I don't need that much energy. Maybe I can just recycle a defend. <sighs> there are two cards. Two cards coming back from all for one. <laughs> hey, Relrex. <laughs> How did I get that that was two cards? Oh, because I I didn't see Recycle in the discard pile. Right, 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 right. right, 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 right. these sometime soon. The fragment's not that good here. Maybe Compile Driver is actually the best thing to play. I want to hit Hologram. If I hit Hologram, everything gets really easy. And Compile Driver draws the most cards. Sick.
Cool. Now what do I do? Chill for a while. Looks like we win. Awakened One is a fight where Awakened One gets stronger if you play powers, but otherwise doesn't get stronger. So at this point in the fight, unless we choose to make Awakened One stronger by playing powers, like, that's just it. We're done. <laughs> just have to be able to block 48 every now and then. Every third turn or so. Gain a million dexterity and only use it on holograms. Yeah, we've got a force field. We've got some block cards. We have a little bit of everything, which makes the deck a bit like cluttered and confused, but what are you gonna do? get time bonus. Do I look like I care about my score? To you. Do I eat two raviolis each time I lift my fork? Um, I think it depends on my hunger. If I'm very hungry, I would. All the cards are sort of fine. None of them are particularly good. But they're, <laughs> they're all sort of fine. I don't know. Is this a claw deck because I wanted to impress chat? I think most things in my life are because I wanted to impress chat. It's barely a claw deck. There are two claws. They deal a bit of damage for us. They're fine, I don't know. Let's go. I should recycle <laughs> one of them, honestly. Possibly should recycle both. Deck is defined by echo form and recycle more than anything. Could be onto something there. Seem to have blocked for 20 with my hologram. It's pretty neat. As long as I win the fight, it doesn't matter what my health is at. I think I like playing consume. No. Let's do this. So I have a meal ticket, so at the store next act I'll go to full health. Oh, 
awkward if we draw like both echo forms off skim. Might actually be losable at that point. Let's do this. Get five cards this turn. One. Two. I want to play Genetic Algorithm twice, so I'm not ready to play those yet. Time Eater also has weird scaling. Time Eater scales off of you playing cards. Every time this clock advances to 12, Time Eater gets plus 2 strength. This is another situation where I'm now blocking for 30 passively. And I don't really need to let Time Eater get any more strength ever, unless I decide that I'd like Time Eater too. Why is my back so itchy? Anybody know? Any back specialists in chat tonight? Hey Paul, I'm currently streaming Slay the Spire. Um, for an audience of people who are watching me. And so sometimes I explain what's going on. For my next trick, I will channel one lightning orb. Sort of have to channel two. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I can channel two and then I can consume one of them. And then I can press end turn for a while. Let's play two of these. I think it's the summer heat. <sighs> Makes a lot of sense. Gosh, summer's just the absolute worst, isn't it? Two per turn is actually quite a lot. This isn't even going to take that long. Why are you watching me at 5 a.m.? Because you are a person who gets to make decisions about what they do in their life. And you chose this one. Winter is trash. Wow, get out. Get out right now. Every time Jorbs ends turn, take a shot. I don't do that. I'm a little bit concerned I could be, like, arrested for saying <laughs> that or something. That was a joke. Um, I mean, at least I wasn't walking around outside. Offbeat Duder, thanks for the year. I'm going to show you as well. There is a non zero chance that I win this run. It sort of comes down to drawing genetic algorithm at the right time. My 
having fun with this combat. Time Eater is not about having fun. Time Eater is about winning. Yes, finally, I have successfully gotten rid of one of the lightning orbs. <sighs> that was bugging me. It seemed inefficient to have two. super unusual for runs to have this many relics, but it's certainly, I don't know, it's unusual for them to have less than this, and it wouldn't be abnormal for them to have, like, another 10. Don't hate the player, hate the game. We definitely were only offered two relics in Act 1 and we chose not to pick one of them up. So that was sort of how our Act 1 went. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty good stuff. I could see self repair being the right upgrade here. I could also see Consume. I could see Reinforced Body. I could see Heat Sinks. Okay, so. Ugh. Not quite what I wanted. That's not really readable if I write there either, is it? All for there. It's not where the dots should have been. <laughs> Self repair is nice because more health. There's heart. That's a nice thing about upgrading a self repair. Got reinforced. Reinforced is more block. Duh. The nice thing about upgrading reinforced body. Heat sinks. More draw. The big thing that does is turn two makes it easier for us to hit genetic algorithm on turn two, although we have to draw and play heat sinks by then, which is only happening one time in four, anyway. Oh, and then, like, consume is the other one. Consume gives more focus. Just more scaling against the heart. Based on how the time eater fight went, I think I might need that consume. Resting gives zero HP. Hey, boys! I like the consume upgrade here. We're just gonna have to draw genetic algorithm on turn two. The store is not very good. <laughs> okay, so storm's actually quite a lot of damage. Oh. 
Storm is like a bit of a question mark. It's a lot of damage, but I think we need Frost Orbs channeled. We probably die if we try to deal damage that way against the heart. And we, we like also get damage here, maybe? I could take Apotheosis. I could probably benefit from a card remove. I could use Smoke Bomb to skip the heart fight. Baylor Lord has a great clip. If you drink Smoke Bomb as your orbs are killing the enemies and the fight ends before you run away, you just skip the fight on the next floor, which would be the heart, and then I'd win. How's it going, Kuro Suzuki? And it does feel sort of plausible to uh, to beat the Act 4 Elites if I don't have to also beat the heart. <sighs> does that count? I mean, no, I'm not going to do that. I think my potions are fine. How good's Apotheosis? It's pretty good. I like the cool headed upgrade. You get two of them. Might be a bit slow. I do have Tori. I'm gonna go for an apotheosis, and I'm gonna grab this hologram as well. I have this gambler's brew, which I think makes the hologram better. Because I can discard cards and then draw them with hologram later or something. I don't know, it made sense in my head. Recycle the force field right now. This turn's fine. Get Horn Cleat from fight to complete boat. It's a good strategy. I drew genetic algorithm on turn two. What an OP player. <laughs> um, how do I do it? I actually want to turn away from this. It's so crazy. But I want to be facing this way for next turn. WBA Jack, thanks very much for the 36 months for the years of support. Uncle Mushu to you as well. Hope you're doing great. Thirty-four card deck two. I mean, I had the Gambler's Brew. I could have looked at another five cards. I just didn't need to because I was so good. Because I was so good. <laughs> um, this would never attack me next turn, right? I still don't have. Echo form in play, unfortunately. I may need to Gambler's Brew now. Because at some point, we're just taking too long to set up. Now, maybe this point. I guess, on the other hand, if I can put together a really good all for one turn. No, it's not gonna like one shot anything.
I'm fine with playing this now. I don't know. <laughs> Those aren't really the cards that I wanted to all be at the bottom of the deck, huh? I think I like drawing four with Gambler's Broom. Hold on to one hologram, though. Okay. The idea was, this is all good, we like this. The idea was, do I want to play Apotheosis? I'm not drawing any cards, am I? Go form, hologram, recycle. I wonder what echo form draws. We need to draw streamline. Did I just say? Okay. This is a bit more reasonable now. I got focused down, unfortunately. Double Glacier looks to be pretty good. take perfect block. We'll take perfect block. Not gonna question that. Taking one this time though. There is a recycle there, and there's a reinforced body. So double plane consume looks really cool and does a lot, but this does so much more. Hit you. We draw the last two. Oh, I don't get to play all for one. I guess I played consume instead. Whatever, that's fine. Ew. 
This is 40 block. Taking a lot of damage. Let's go hologram for skim. So many good hits. Not sure we really got any of them. I think I draw one more card. This block's for 8. This block's for 12. Do the cards give me 4 health on average? Yeah, like everything's good. I could use weak potion here. It's questionable. Will it save 16 health? I think it's going to be better later. Yeah, that turn really fucking sucked down. Okay. Stop killing me. So 14 times 5 is more than 11 times 6. 66 versus 70. And also when I evoke them, they evoke for more. Fucking finally. Oh my god. Better than that against the heart, maybe. Furix, thanks very much for the three months. I'm gonna show to you too. Should be possible to do better than that against the heart. Like all the echo forms are at the bottom of the deck, right? Also possible to do worse. Definitely possible to die. If I'd bought the smoke bomb, I would have won the run. Predict echo form turn one. That sounds nice. How about all for one turn one? If I cool headed and like draw echo form, it's sort of terrible for me. If I drew exactly genetic algorithm, it would be okay. I think I'm meant to do this though.
That's rough. This has not been a good first three turns. A lot of things have gone wrong so far. Sort of want to double play this, but I don't think I get to. And I drew defragment. Thanks. Okay. We're through most of the bad stuff, though, I think. Another echo form. What does that let me do? There's no recycle here. Sort of have to draw good cards off heat sinks. Best I can do with double hologram right now is. Glacier Hologram, maybe. And then I play Glacier. And then I play Hologram. And I play... E-Fragma. There's so much good stuff to draw. There's both genetic algorithms. Force Field's good. Recycle's good. Skim redraws. I think I have to double echo form. It's void there? No, all the curses are done. Field, hologram, force field certainly keeps me alive. I can go force field, hologram, hologram, force field if I want. Just trying to work out what other plays there are. It would be nice to play Apotheosis. Can I play Apotheosis? I'd go Force Field Apotheosis, 13 to 21. Could play Force Field Apotheosis. I go to 2, right? Which is pretty awkward with no loop in your deck. I don't think that can be right, unfortunately. Force field hologram, force field goes to... Force field hologram, hologram, force field goes to... 38 block, 46 block, we take 4, we go to 8. That gives us the ability to draw... A bad hand once. Not a very bad hand, but a slightly bad hand once.
Oh shit. That played twice. <laughs> this is playing twice too then, right? Alright, cool. I totally knew that. Forty goes to thirty eight, forty six, fifty three, sixty three. I'm not looking for you to suggest how to play the game. I played the game for like 5,000 hours and I've been playing this game with my undivided attention for like several hours to get to here. And now I'm going to play the heart fight. Try to keep the chat free for people to say hi and like ask me questions about stuff that's going on and not for you to recommend what you would do. All right, where was I? Trying to work out if I put defragment in play. I want to play it twice. There's a turn immediately where I needed the extra health. Can I keep genetic algorithm though? Right now I can go double hologram. Playing skim would have been so nice <laughs> if it didn't reshuffle. We can go double hologram. Grabbing all for one. And force field? Hologram? Double hologram grabbing. Force field and hologram. And then double force field again. Speed this shit up. <laughs> okay. I 
double hologram, double defragment. Double sweeping beam. And we claw. And we claw. It's gonna be time for this vulnerable potion soon. And I think we recycle twice. Unless I want... Do I want a lightning orb? Shit, I might actually want a lightning orb. For Compile Driver. It's also Prox Kunaya Gun. Okay. Being attacked for 90 this turn. It's a bit more than before. I can grab genetic algorithm if I want. I'll start with double force field, double cool headed though. And go from there. So double reinforced body just blocks. Single reinforced body just blocks. All for one gets a ton of stuff, and then I can hologram it to play it again. Is this the turn for vulnerable pot? I think it is. Valuable is that defend? I'm on eight. I can get rid of defend and slimed, or I can get rid of only slimed, or I can get rid of only wound. Maybe get rid of only wound. Shit hand again. I need to recycle the cards that don't block. to have loops right now. This turn's worthless. We 
Maybe it wasn't entirely worthless. It was pretty worthless. Okay. Fortunately, I get to start with two defends. I play two compile drivers. And two cool headeds. We got some stuff going on. What stuff exactly, though? <laughs> um, recycling streamline seems like a super safe play. It's hard to imagine that being wrong. I played two defends, two compile drivers, two cool headeds, so now I'm only playing cards once. soon or the heart might die soon. One of those two things is about to happen. But it does look significantly more likely that it's the heart than that it's us. Sam. No. I don't think so. 67. Tons of block. I think I don't want to play Cool Headed here because I want to draw Hologram next turn without reshuffling first. Tricky thing now. We have no problem dealing, I assume, 200 damage this turn. But the tricky thing is leaving ourselves in a situation where it's as likely as possible that we win next turn or the turn after. We only have to do like 73 damage. It should be impossible not to. Um. Grab you. Maybe also grab you. Next card's getting played twice. Just play you twice. I'm not gonna overthink it. This is not the advertised. 200 damage. <laughs> Awkward. I want these cards not to be in my next draw pile, so...
run took three hours. Oh my god. <laughs> what a brutal run. I didn't even play that run slowly, really. A little bit slowly. But like, every single fight took like eight turns of... Brain fry and shit. Thanks, Thamlin, for the sub. Agbomo show to you as well. Two thousand six hundred and sixty-six score exactly. Terrible casserole, links the nine months. Agbomo show to you too. <laughs> 